My name is Scott Denarola and I am an amateur MMA fighter. There's a lot to love about MMA. You know, I love the I love the rawness of it and I love the the simplicity. You know, it's such a primal and such a such a universal thing, you know, winning a fight. I train out of Carlson Gracie Riverside and I love it because it's like a family in here. You know, we all have a very close-knit team. Uh, we all push each other very hard to accomplish a, a shared dream that we have. So I am a blue belt in Jiu-Jitsu under Sean Ruiz, and I am a purple belt in Muay Thai under Coach Tony. It took a lot of dedication, took a lot of hard work, a lot of sweat, a lot of blood, um, a lot of tears. You know, everything they say about martial arts and what it takes to progress is true. The first time I stepped onto the mat, I was a much different person than I am today. Just so obsessed with this idea of uh, uh, training to attain strength. You know, and I, I was not on the mat to like have friends, needed a, a better outlet. A way to channel these energies that I had uh, into something productive. So my first day, <laughs> I was probably not the best white belt. I was probably a spaz. Martial arts teaches you humility. Because no matter how big, how bad, how tall, how strong, you know, if you come onto the mat, there will be multiple people that will beat you. And so what martial arts does is it kind of just like take your ego and humble it in, in a really positive way. The people that do not have patience in this room will not make it long. And that is because if you train without patience, uh, injury will come, illness will come, um, lack of motivation will come, burnout will come. Patience is the key to becoming successful in any craft. Uh, because at the end of the day, the process takes time. You need to make those mistakes, you need to learn from those mistakes. When you get in the, in the back and then you make the walk and then you're locked in a cage, it very much feels like this uh, forced experience. I just imagine and I, I surrender to God and I just say like no matter what happens in this experience like God is good. I, I'm completely outcome detached. I, I don't I don't feel any anger towards my opponent, but I'm just there to perform and I'm I'm there to I'm there to win. But you know the, the thing is in martial arts is it teaches you how to lose. Or what I think about a lot before I fight is the the amount of sacrifice that my father has made uh, to make me successful. When I think about that, it just builds such a resolve in myself to become successful myself. Um, you know, my, my dad has made a lot of sacrifice to, to get me to where I am today. Uh, all the sacrifices he's made, that my mother's made, the sacrifice that my coaches have made, sacrifice that my teammates have made, sacrifice that my girlfriends made, sacrifice that my, my friends have made. You know, buying fight tickets is not cheap. And so I think about all the people that are supporting me and I think about, <clears throat> and it builds such a resolve in my chest. It makes me determined to be successful and to go out there and to, to express my martial arts to its fullest. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. This has been Scott Denarula from Carlson Gracie Riverside. Uh, take it easy. Hope you guys enjoyed.